Cause of the sacred fortune. The fortune of horror. The cause of protection. The cause of life and death. You that watches over the universe and far above. We adore and we worship you. Like we promise our Father. And like he promised our forefathers that our generation is going to serve you all our we are here to redeem the promise as part of the promise we are taking a long walk to the junction to meet your three mysterious servants May the gods of the sacred virtues and the virtue of horror be praised. May, May the gods of the sacred virtues and the virtue of horror be praised. Shakarakiki, the supreme gods of the virtues, the virtues of horror. Finally, we are at your sacred shrine at the very point of offering you the ultimate sacrifice and the blameless sacrifice to appease your passionate spirit. You require that we serve you humans as sacrifice that we have brought. Accept it and give us abundant blessings and guide us against our enemies. <laughs> May Shakarakiki the supreme god of the vultures, the vultures of horror, be praised. Your ultimate sacrifice has been accepted. Kwame, my humble servant, you and your household have done so well by keeping the promise and the covenant I had with your ancestors. From this moment onwards, you are to continually perpetrate and do evil to humanity. You are to commit all level and manners of atrocities to your community without mercy. That is the only way I can continue to protect you against your enemies and fight for you whenever you call on me. Also remember that you are to offer me the ultimate sacrifice every first Saturday in three months. Finally remember 
remember the sacred port of covenant where the living vultures of horror reside to keep it secret and holy no stranger stranger must come close to it oh thatch it the day this command is violated, the outcome shall be grievous. It shall be grievous. <laughs> Can you please make up time to attend a PCA meeting at junior school? Sure, I will. Okay, thank you. That's what I know. All right, go give your daddy a kiss. Let's go. Uh, All right, let's go. You guys be good, okay? Gabe, come and clear the table. I'll see you, honey. Yeah. I told you, I told you for getting to go. <laughs> Yes, Savior, I come to my office right now and uh, bring the file with the contract for uh, Dominic Agrochemical Limited. Yes, I hear it. Yeah, yeah, give me that. I thought I told you last week to send our own terms of the agreement to the manager of Dominic Agrochemical Limited. And I also told you to send a copy to the regional director. Did you do it? I did, sir. No, you didn't. Because even if you say you did, they didn't receive it. I just got a call a few minutes ago from uh, uh, Dominic Agrochemical saying that they are still waiting for our own. Uh, reply. I'm surprised to hear this, sir. I sent it to them as soon as you instructed me to do so. Then you have to resend it and uh, do it immediately. It's okay. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Ray. I was just about calling before you came in. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm here now. Take a look at this. Government Integrated Power Project. <laughs> Go through it and tell me what you think about it. You know, the Minister of Power and Energy just sent that to me two days ago. You know, he knows that um, energy and power is my area of expertise. So they selected our company to handle the Government Integrated Power Project. Wow! Yeah. This is a great milestone. Yeah, as I said, you take your time, go through it, and uh, get back to me. Tell me what you think about it. <laughs> you can take it to your office. All right, I'll do as you say, sir. Okay. I'll be in my office in case you need my attention. Okay, Ray. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, when you have the higher number, you subtract this by the smaller number. When you subtract this by a smaller number, you add it to the bigger denominator. And what do you get? Good. Now this one. You add this to this, and then subtract this to this. After, you take the bigger number and subtract it by the denominator. Okay? Mommy. Perfect. Uh -huh. Look at this. What would be the appropriate way to be the blank spaces? Can you see? Okay. When you're sick, where do you go to? I go to the hospital. Exactly. So choose one of the words in the brackets, okay? The appropriate word. Auntie, dinner is ready and served. All right, let me finish helping them with their homework and then we'll come to the table soon, okay? All right. I'll be inside. Arrange it. Okay, come on. Finish. Spell beautiful properly, okay? Let me see. 
Mommy, thank you. You're welcome. Have you finished? Daddy, welcome. Hey. Daddy, welcome. How are you, my angel? Yeah, How was school today? And the school was fine. I scored ninety-five percent in all my classwork. Wow, that's my boy, a true replica of your father. That's what I like. Yes. And you, Nelly? How was school? School was fine, and I scored ninety percent in all my classwork. Hey, like you. Oh. Intelligence like the mother. You can see that. Yes. <laughs> Honey, how was the shop today? It was yeah. good. Mm -hmm. I missed you. I missed you too, honey. Daddy. Yo. Daddy, did you bring anything for us? Uh, you know I won't miss a day without bringing anything for you because I have some junkless here. <laughs> I brought you chocolate. Thank you so much, Daddy. I hope you guys know that you're not eating this right now. You guys have to go and eat your dinner. You take this to school tomorrow, okay? Okay, yes, you're gonna eat later? Yeah, thank you. Take my bag inside. <laughs> Alright, let's go and eat. Dinner is ready. Dinner is ready. Yeah. <sighs> so, I was kind of going to tell you about um, Mr. Swing and Yes, we did. When last did you hear from your people in the village? <laughs> I um, spoke with uh, some of my kinsmen just yesterday. Mm. And your brother Kwame? Honey, you know brother Kwame and I, we're not best of friends. So you don't expect to hear I'm in constant communication with him. So, I'm even surprised you. Asking of you. There's something I've always wanted to ask you all these years that I don't understand. What is it, honey? You and your brother mm -hmm. are the only kids for your parents. Yet, you're not the best of friends. You guys hardly get along. Honey. It's so. Long, long story. But, um, yes. Yes. You see, my father, he was a worshipper of the deadly and sacred virtues of horror, which he inherited from his ancestors. They believed that uh, the virtues, being patient and vulnerable, were still able to protect them. So, upon his death, he wanted us to take over from him in worshipping the virtues of horror. And that's where the problem started. You see, I refused to join in the idol worship and uh, Brother Kwame and his family, they accepted it in worshipping the virtues of horror. Hmm. This is serious. Huh? So what does it entail to worship the vultures? It entails a whole lot, a whole lot of scary things. You see, Brother Kwame and his family, they, they sacrifice human beings to renew the covenant they have with the virtual gods every time. And besides doing that, honey, they, they have to continually perpetuate evil acts against people in the society. God forbid. God forbid. There's no way I could have joined in uh, doing such a barbaric and unholy thing. Imagine me going around the community fooling myself all in the name of worshipping some stupid virtual gods. And that's why they have remained poor. Because instead of going out, looking for work and doing something meaningful with their lives, they have uh, sat down in that village worshipping some stupid virtual gods. And it really pains me, honey. It, it pains me because look at his children, my nephews and my niece. They have wasted their lives in that village all in the name of worshipping that same virtue of horror. It's crazy. Is that why he refuses to accept any help from you? Yes, so. He said because I've refused to join the worship of his silly gods, he won't accept anything from me. Anything, any help I give him, he won't accept it. Wow. It's very sad. It really baffles me that at this modern time and jet age, people still indulge in idol worship. 
even to the extent of killing human beings, sacrificing human beings. How? Yeah. My God. Ah. You know, in that case, you need to be very, very careful of your brother then. He's an evil man. <laughs> very evil. <laughs> he, he can't do anything to me. What he thinks he knows, I know even more than him. <laughs> Honey, forget about that man. <laughs> Do you know me of juice? Baby. Do you know that you are my, my life? You are my source of happiness. You are my joy. You are just everything to me. <laughs> And you're my prince, my king, my hero. Oh. You're my love, oh. my heartbeat. You're just a gift from God to me. Yeah. And when I look at you every time, I just kind of smile. Because it reminds me of something very special. What? It reminds me of that, that beautiful day, about 15 years ago. When I first met you, no woman had given me a tough time like you did. What? Did you expect to get me on a platter of gold? I had to prove a hard man to crack. I didn't say so. <laughs> and you know, the worst part about it was your, your friends, your family, they were all making it very tough for me. Nobody wanted to even hear my name. Well, that's because we all thought that you're one of those Akra guys who wanted every girl Come in on. Yes, and I wasn't ready for anything like that. And we all knew about it. Oh, but anyway, their harsh, unaccommodating, hostile attitude towards me just made me to get a sort of impetus. I said, I must get this girl at all costs. And I didn't stop till I got you. And you know, I don't regret one bit that I accepted your proposal. Mm -hmm. Honey, I love you so much. I love you with every breath I take. I love you too, darling. I love you so much. Right from the depth of my heart. Oops, the kids are here. Come on, No, you can't carry me! No! No! Good afternoon. What can I do for you? Sir, my name is Lima. I stay three streets away from here. Sir, I've heard so much about you. About how you've been helping the, the poor and the less privileged. So I decided to come and see you. Sir, I'm listening. Go ahead. My family and I are dying of hunger. We've not eaten since last night. Sir, please, we need your help. Please. Gifty! Gift! Come over here, come over here! Gifty, come on here. Uh, take this man inside. 
Give him uh, something to eat and drink. Make sure he's comfortable till we get back, okay? When we get back, we'll look into his issue. Okay. Thank you. It's okay. Well, Just sir. follow her. Thank you, sir. It's okay. You've served the dying yeah. man. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Just go, sir. Wow. Wow. I can only imagine what him and his family are going through. Some people are suffering in this country. I, I can't even believe it. I just thank God that he's provided us with enough that we can help those who don't have it. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, when we we'll come back, we will have to just see how we can help him. Do you want more food? Sure, my sister. Can you get me more? Sure, why not? <sighs> Sir, all my problems started as soon as I was illegally removed from my work. My four kids had to withdraw from school because I could no longer pay for their school fees. Everything has moved from bad to worse. I cannot even feed my family anymore. Sir, right now, my landlord has given me an ultimatum of next week to pay my house rent or I'll be sent packing. Mr. Lima, your, your story is a very sad one. But I assure you, it's not the worst in the world. Um, I don't believe that the downfall of a man is the end of his word. Hmm. Well, it is good that you've been able to gather some courage by seeking for assistance. It is better to seek for assistance than die in silence. What I, what I can assure you right now is your, your problems have now come to an end. I'm going to help you to bounce back on your feet. I, I only want you to like think about what you can do very well, something that if you get into, you're going to be prosperous again. Um, I'm going to give you some money that you can use to you know, solve your immediate problems, and then we can take it from there. and I. It's okay, it's okay. You don't have to do that. It doesn't come to that. 
you can sit down. Sit down. We just have to thank God who's uh, provided the resources for us to help you. Okay. It's okay. Um, so, Emma, here are some clothes for your wife and kids. Oh. I'm sure they'll find something in there that can size them. And these are also some food and drinks for you and your family. Thank you so much, honey. Yeah, that was so thoughtful. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Kujo. You don't know what your family have done for me. I'm so grateful. Words cannot describe how I feel inside me. I'm grateful. I'm excited. God bless you. Thank you. Be nice to the family. Thank you. Shakara Kiki, the supreme goddess of the vultures of horror said the only way his love and protection can continually remain with my family and I is by committing evil and atrocities. How do I do this well if I don't assume the position of the chief of our community? After all, since our former chief died two years ago, no one has assumed that position. I can as well assume it and then be in charge of the whole community. That way, I can boldly commit all manner of evil with impunity. <laughs> this will be a perfect plan. But how do I achieve this? I will need the help of the other elders of the community to do that. Would they support me? Father, you look worried. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything is okay. But I'm considering taking the position of the community chief. That's not bad. But I'm surprised. When did this whole idea come from? Uh, well, I have been thinking. I realize if I become the chief, you know, we can operate and perpetrate all our evils with impunity. And with Shakarakiki's protection, no one can fight us. That sounds like a nice one. But the issue is, how do we get the consent of the elders? That may not be an easy one. Yeah, I know, but I'll handle it. Look, any one of the elders who proves stubborn will be adequately dealt with. All right, Father. I'm strongly behind you. That's my boy. I understand. <laughs> Father, I want to get something else, I assume. Okay. Yeah, okay. See, it's a good thing. Um, Father, this food is delicious. Hmm, all thanks to your sister. She did the magic. She prepared dinner tonight. Thumbs up. That's a nice one, Queen. <laughs> With this kind of food, one would know when he eats beyond the gauge of his stomach. <laughs> you know what? Whoever your husband turns out to be will pay extra bright price on your head when the time comes. Additional bright price for what? Ask them for me, O oh Father. For not only giving him a pretty wife, but one with a special skill of preparing good meals. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Alright. Thanks guys for loving my food. Well, let me use this opportunity to tell you people of my plans of becoming the new community chief. Huh? I am going to be the top of affairs of this community. And we shall make sure that we do whatever Shakara Kiki requires of us. Mm -hmm. Be a great one, my husband. Hmm. Ever since Parmensa, the former chief died, no one has been appointed a new one. So that would mean well for us if you assume that position. You can say that again, mother. Oh my god. You guys don't have an idea the evil I will do in this community if father finally comes to chief. No idea. <laughs> but, but, but listen, 
we must support Father in every way that we can for him to get this. Because the only way this dream can become true is when the elders support him, you know. Exactly. Look, I need the support of the elders to get there. But I think it's really going to be a bit tough. Father, are they mad not to give you that support? They will. Oh, Father, I wish you easy sell into the position of becoming the new chief of this community. Thanks, <laughs> my dear. Thanks. Oh, my God. Anyway, yes. I'll be going back to school tomorrow. Ah, sis, really? We're going to miss you very oh, much. Yeah. You know. I'm going to miss you guys too. Queen, listen, make sure when you go, concentrate on your studies. You know the reason why you are in school. And always remember that Shakara Kiki Protection will fight all your battles for you and continuously to do evil. Yes, sir. You heard me. You continue to do evil. Evil. That's key. Much wickedness and evil in this one which we live. The evil ones are everywhere. You give power to destroy our lands. Same old story. We are sorry we can't take you. If had enough for today, please try again later. What's all this? This is three years since graduation, but nothing. I can't even find any meaningful job to do. I'm tired. In fact, this, this is my last job interview or any move on job hunt. Look, I told you it was not going to be nothing but a waste of time looking at the stress involved. I mean, jumping into truck truck from here to Kanishi to Labadi and all that, you will see that you'd have been better you stayed at home. Is there any food? I'm hungry. Let's put it in the kitchen. Oh, just Sometimes I think dad made a wrong decision to cut off everything from Uncle Kojo. That man is rich. He could have given us a job or given us some good money to start up a business on our own. I mean, he does that for people who go to him all the time. Hmm. I see reason in what you're saying. But understand that Uncle Kojo and our family belong to two distinct and contrary worlds. He doesn't believe in the gods we serve. Severally, he has talked father into abandoning Shakarakiki. I remember grandpa telling father on his dying bed to do away with anything that links us together. You know, look, I understand all that. But we shouldn't have cut away from his wealth. We need his money for survival. Now look, we are jobless. How do we get means of survival? His money would have been of great help. This issue is beyond our control. Forces beyond us have already decided how it should be. Hmm? So note that. Charlie, this, this hustling here, yeah, Charlie. I'm too busy myself. Um, where are you damsels going to? Well, nowhere special. We're just um, taking a stroll. I see. Um, Rose, I was planning to come over your house later this evening. Can I speak with you outside? Excuse me. Yeah. What is it, Nana? The fact that we're on a show doesn't mean that we're going to sleep on the road this day. So what is it say? Take it easy on me, Rose. I have said sorry over and over again, but you keep being hostile on me. I'm not hostile. I'm just not interested in this relationship that is taking us nowhere. Why are you saying that? You know I love you, and I love you with my whole heart. And it is wrong for you to say that it is taking us nowhere. It is not to. There is more to a relationship than sleeping with a woman anytime you feel like it. We don't have a headway. There's no headway for us in this relationship. Come on. I'm a woman. I have diverse needs. 
and it's very obvious you lack what it takes to take care of me. So, until you do, I'm bouncing out of this relationship until you assume your responsibilities as a man. Excuse me, my friend is waiting. Let's go. Sometimes I wonder what you're still doing with that jobless son of an evil man. Huh? Nana is just too stubborn. I've told him times over and over again, but he just won't listen. I don't know why he's teasing me that he can't even resist. What? Then stop answering him. Yes, Rose. Stop answering him when he meets you on the road like this and starts pestering you. Don't like that guy for any reason. Our lands have been corrupted. Things no longer go well. So much sadness in our land for the sake of the revolution. The fact that we're on a show doesn't mean that we're going to sleep on the road this day. Take it easy on me, Rose. I have said sorry over and over again, but you keep being hostile on me. I'm not hostile. I'm just not interested in this relationship that is taking us nowhere. Why are you saying that? You know I love you. And I love you with my whole heart. And it is wrong for you to say that it is taking us nowhere. It is not to. There is more to a relationship than sleeping with a woman anytime you feel like it. We don't have a headway. There's no headway for us in this relationship. Come on. I'm a woman. I have diverse needs. And it's very obvious you lack what it takes to take care of me. So, until you do, I'm bounced out of this relationship. Until you assume your responsibilities as a man. Hey, what is it? You look like somebody whose world has crumbled. I feel like I'm a failure right now. Like I'm becoming something less than a man. Don't tell me it's because of this girl again. Steve, you know I love her. She's the only one that has made me feel differently. Losing her is like losing a special part of me. That is not even the case. She said I'm a jobless guy that cannot take care of their needs. And she ended it with a big blow by saying, whenever I'm able to assume my responsibilities as a guy, I, sh I should come back. Are you the one who made yourself jobless? Why would she run her wide mouth like that? Didn't you tell her of the many job attempts you've made? And the time and energy you've spent on job hunt? Huh? I think she's right somehow. Because what guy will have a girl of her kind and not take her of her and yet expect her to stick to him. I don't know what to do. I'm so confused right now. Look at you. See what she's putting you through. What are you going to do now? Get a job at once, make plenty of money and begin to make her feel happy and buy all the good things in life. What nonsense. Look bro, no silly bitch is worth putting you through all these tormenting moments. If she's real, she should love you and take you the way you are, irrespective of whether you, you are working or not or whether you have money or not. Steve, do you know you're not making this situation any better? Why are you wasting your time troubling yourself? You have the power to control her thoughts and to make her fall for you for the rest of her miserable life. Why are you putting yourself through all this? I know. I want her to love me naturally without any voodoo manipulation. Huh? Love you naturally? Are you serious? Look sharp. So much we keep the sad evil In this land which we live The evil ones are everywhere Looking forward to destroy Our lands have been corrupted There's no longer go on So much I do in our land For the sake of the
Hey, today I sold. Hey, hey, today nobody entered my shop. Only two people entered my shop. What did they even buy? Miserable Gary, granite and 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 rice. Plenty of money that she's counted. Hey. hey! I sold only five seeds, but I'm sure she sold up to 50 Ghana cities. You have been this moody since you returned from the shop. Is anything the matter? Sometimes I don't understand some things. How would I be in the same line with Eunice at the village selling center? She should be selling more than me. Sometimes in a day, one or two customers will enter my shop. Sometimes nobody will come at all. But that useless woman will be selling like wildfire. Customers trooping in and out. What? That's serious. Is that what you're facing? Today, I sold only five Ghana. But I'm sure she sold up to 50 Ghana cities. What? How come? Who is she? Exactly who is she? Who is her medicine man that is doing her that strong medicine to be selling that well? Oh, that nonsense. That's, that's nonsense. She can even go to India for all I care. Whatever she is or whatever she thinks she, she has cannot be compared to what Shakara Kiki can do. There's no need for you to bother yourself. You know what to do. You either send her back in completely from the village center or collect her customers. Okay, thank you. I just want to let you know before I strike. I am strongly behind you. I will give you my full support. Eh? <laughs> okay, now tell me. How are you going about campaigning for the position of the community chief? Uh, I am doing some underground arrangements and preparation. Well, we can sleep now. Ah. Oh my god. Hey, you are welcome. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Hey, you are done with something, huh? Very Good landlord. You are very, very much. You are very, very important. Yes, yes. Mm. You see, uh, always come out of Christmas time. Uh, I'm so sorry. Okay. Yes, you got, I guess so. Yes. Some will reach me here. The Zuga. Thank you. The Zuga. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Ah, that's good. Accept this as my little cola. The drink tastes nice, so. <coughs> yes. 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 It's yes. Not common. It's it not has common. a natural blend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <It's not common. coughs> I hope we'll finish before we go. <laughs> well, we can't take it away. That reminds me. I had uh, a better. The mad girl, the one who got missing a few months ago, is back. Are you sure? Yes. That is a great news for the family. Yes, yes, yes. They'll be very, very happy to welcome her back to the family. That's great. Yes. <laughs> I said it. I said that someday she will be back. And nobody believed me. If even she didn't return, that would have made no difference. Of what use is she to the family? Mm. She only brings shame and sadness to her people. Mm. 
in the mess. I don't see that. Don't see that. Although she may be mad, but the family still treasure her. You mean if she dies now, they will not organize a visiting barrier for her? <laughs> <laughs> indeed, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> but uh, let's discuss important issues and leave this mad girl talk. Well, um, I call this meeting eh, because I'll be thinking of a way forward for this our little community. It has been two years now since we lost our former chief. And we know what we have gone through because we don't have a head. Look at the case between Labiba and Moriso. It shouldn't have escalated to that level if we had a community head. You are right. That's very true. It means then that we, as a wise man and an elders in this community, should look for somebody credible to replace our former chief. Elder Kwegu. You have spoken very well. You have spoken very wisely. I must confess that I was thinking along the same line. Thank God that you brought this at this particular time. You see, as elders of our community, we must make sure that the welfare of our people and the well-being of our people is our priority. We are supposed to make sure that things go on well in this community. So, selecting somebody with good repute and credibility to lead our people and be the chief of this community must be a welcome development. Exactly. Someone with good repute and I level of integrity is a catchphrase. But who are we looking for here? Now, do any of us have anybody in mind? Yes. I thought an engineer could do would be very suitable for this position. He has been a great son of this community. I also have in mind Mr. Lucky. He is also an illustrious son of the land. Wow, all these people are amiable sons of this land with great potentials, good repute, and high level of integrity. But I know for sure, Engineer Kujo lives in the city. And I wonder if you would like to come and stay with us here in the village to take up this enormous task being the community chief. Yes. I was thinking do towards that direction. You are making sense. In that case, Mr. Lucky will be the perfect person. He has lived amongst his people here in the village and has his business here. He's been very generous to our people, helping the need and the poor. And he will be a very good community chief. You are right. Mr. Lucky will be the perfect person for this position. Okay. Should we all endorse Mr. Lucky for the position? Yes. Yes. Okay. I should have come here. Eda Zuga, convey our decision to Mr. Lucky and inform him that we'll be paying him a formal visit in a fortnight. I will. Okay. Only that. He is not around at the moment. He has traveled to Kumasi. Mm. So immediately he comes. Mm. I will visit him. Jesus, Jesus, in the name of Jesus, you devil, I rebuke you in Jesus' name. Go away, you devil, go away, in Jesus' mighty name.
what? Who is molding this one again? So sons of this land are really progressing to a point of building this kind of mansion. Okay, we shall see. But I can assure whoever is building this that this is the end of the construction. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Ah, it's woman. Nightmare again. What is it again? Terrible nightmare. Terrible nightmare, my husband. You and this your nightmare again. Let me sleep. Eh? This is a different kind of dream. <laughs> From all I can see, satanic agents have invaded our land. Which one is satanic agent? I saw them. I saw them, satanic agents in different forms, chasing and tormenting the entire village. It was terrible. My husband, don't pray to see what I saw. It was terrible. Let us pray. We need to turn the hands of the heaven once. Pray again. Tonight, prayer. We need to pray. The prayer, says, prayer, prayer, prayer. The prayer of the righteous prayer. evaded much. Even if you don't turn the hands of the evil ones away from the entire village, at least let's turn them away from our family. Let's pray. Let's pray. Oh, merciful God. May you know the praise. I thank you. I know you're going to fight this battle for me. This is your battle. This is your battle. Lord Jesus, I thank you. Lord, Master Jesus, you are the pillar of the house. Our lives, Master Jesus, you are the pillar of our host. Our lives. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Elohim and Adonai, Father, we worship you. We adore you, for there is none like you. You are the ever living God. Father, we call upon you, Father. We call upon you. Over Father, over Father, over Father. Father, your children are calling upon your name. Jehovah is your name, Father. Oh, Reke Baya Kaba Suki Baya Wa. Reya Kaba Suki Baya Wa Panda. Reha La Kaba. Zay La Kaba Ma Panda Le Baya Ka. Reke Boma Panda Saka Baya Wa. Reke Boma Baya Kaba. Rende Baya Sakubia. Ah. Oh, you are the reason why we are saying Jehovah. You are the most I call Jehovah. Jehovah, you are the most I call Jehovah. Hey, Lord, I worship you. Father, we adore you. Jehovah, but there is no like you, Father. Jehovah, Lord, we commit ourselves into your hands, Lord. We cover this village with the blood of Jesus. Father, all the evil birds, my Lord, all the evil ones that are fighting against your children, by the power in the blood of Jesus, Father, we come against them. We speak in authority, just like you said in the book of Jeremiah 16, 24, that we shall stand to defeat, to fight against the top of the evil ones. Jehovah is your name. Lord, we call upon you. Just like you came in the days of Job, Jehovah, come and fight for us. Come and fight for us in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There's so much wickedness and evil in this land which we live. The evil ones are everywhere, looking forward to destroy our lands of Pray 
Wee Shakarakiki. Wee Shakarakiki. Shakarakiki the Great. Shakarakiki the Great. Shakarakiki the Great. Come and fight the battles. Fortress of Oro. Fortress of Oro. Good afternoon. Hello, customer. Welcome. Uh, customer. Customer. Hello. What do you want to buy? Maggie. Bye. Customer, welcome. Come on, come and buy, come and buy, come and buy. Hey. Kiki, I thank you. I thank you. Ah, I have a lot of customers today. I am very, very happy. Ah, look at plenty of money. Thank you. Thank you, Shakara Kiki. Thank you. This is not happening to me. I have never sold like this before. Today has been very, very good. Very, very good for me. Imagine me recording these poor sales with all my customers running into that evil woman shop. Why does she suddenly have in her shop that I have not? Eh? I will maintain all of you. <laughs> hey. hmm. Hey, this is good. Great Shakaraki. You promise us that you always be there and fight all our enemies. This is exactly what you did today by bringing back all my customers that were stolen by my enemies. I have come to show my appreciation. May your name be glorified. And may your name be honored. Great Shakaraki. Yeah. I am very sure market was very awesome today. <laughs> My husband. Can you imagine what happens today? First, I invoked the voices of Oro and they answered immediately. Hovering all over her shop. Then I supplemented it with a shocking fire. Before I could say Jack, all her customers will run into my shop. I sold more than I have ever sold before. This is the kind of thing I want to hear. Everywhere we go, no one should dominate or intimidate us. Rather, we should dominate and intimidate with all authority because we have something they don't have. <laughs> I'm so happy, my husband. Now I have a lot of customers, and I'm going to use everything within my power to keep and maintain all my customers. I am also very happy that Shakara Kiki have done it. So much wickedness and evil in this land which we live. The evil ones are everywhere, looking forward to destroy. Our lands have been corrupted, there's no longer go. So much sadness in our land, for 
for the sake of the revolution There's so much we give this an evil In this language we live The evil ones are everywhere Looking forward to destroy Our lands have been corrupted Things no longer go well But so much time that's in our land For the sake of the revolution Is it that my powers went there and bounced off? Now all my newly acquired customers have all gone back to her again. Why? Why? Thanks be to the gods of Fida. See how it brought back all my customers that were stolen from me by that evil woman. Let's see how her charms will work again. Power past power. We needed to see the humiliation. The shame that I went through in the hands of that stupid Yudis of Edamasa's wife. All my newly acquired customers have all come back to her again. I feel terribly defeated. I am humiliated. I am disappointed. Shakarakiki has disappointed me. Ah, woman, mind what you say. Shakarakiki doesn't disappoint. Don't let this little matter make you lose faith in the Supreme Master. He knows better. He knows everything from the beginning to the end. What you need to do is just take it easy. What has happened has happened. Shakara Kiki might have had the reason for it happening that way. Just take heart. I feel so defeated. Who is Eunice to have defeated me on the battle? She has not defeated you. No one defeats on any battle, we are unbeatable and more than conquerors. I feel defeated and there's nothing you can say for me to feel otherwise. Come to think of it, where could she have gotten such powerful charms from? Whatever charms that she use might have been some kind of extraordinary. Uh, but you need to trust in great Shakara Kiki. Shakara Kiki never disappoints. That's it. Great Shakara Kiki. Frida's charm work. <clears throat> Something stronger than her charm stroke her dying, she couldn't withstand it. But these born again Christians, they can possess some power, so. Mm. It's good. Mm. I feel that. That is really a terrible thing. It strikes when no one expects. Look at that beautiful woman, turned into a widow by the co hand of death, left with four children, all to be taken care of alone. I feel so sorry and a great pity for her. Hmm. Death is an inevitable end to everyone. I feel so sorry for her too. But God knows better. For above and beyond, that is the most important question. After death, what next? Where will one end? Heaven or hell? As my Bible rightly puts it, what shall it profit a man? If he gain the whole world and loses his soul. Feda, that is a talk for another day. Don't start any round of gospel preaching now. Look, I have something bothering me. And what could that be? It's Beatrice, Sekwami's wife. My neighbor in the village selling points where I have a shop. 
The unfortunate thing that happens to me is having a shop close to hers. Funny enough, she hardly has customers. All the people who come to the village selling point to buy provisions prefer my place to hers. She hates that so much and feels cheated. But to my greatest surprise, four days ago, something mystical happened. All the customers come to buy at my place behave as if they were being flogged by electric shock and withdrew to her shop to go and buy. To my greatest surprise, I made a very low sales that day. This is why I have asked you and your family to get close unto Jesus. Run unto Christ. He is the altar and finisher of our faith. This is exactly the problem I have with you. Me talking about my customers being stolen away by that evil woman. And we are talking Jesus. You see, as long as you are living without Christ in your life, you will be like this, having your eyes, but you can't see. Look, we are living in a perilous time. And the Bible made us to understand that the devil roams like a roaring lion, looking for souls to devour. Thank God we have hope in Christ. The same Bible says, those who run unto Christ are like Mount Zion that cannot be moved. It was revealed to me that satanic agents are gradually invading this land. And from your story, it is obvious that Miss Kwame used her evil powers on your customers. You are right, Fida. I'm convinced she used her evil charms on my customers. Look, this is the time you have to prove to the agent of darkness that there is power greater than this. Serious? You mean you have a stronger charm? Eunice, you should know I don't deal with charms. I possess the power of the Holy Spirit. The indivisible power of God. The power of light that the darkness saw and comprehended not. Actually, I don't know what that means. But since it will help bring back all my customers, I don't mind. Glory be to God. See me tomorrow night. All right, I am. I got your prayer took you a long time. Oh. Eunice, look. The battle ahead of us all in this land isn't one to be fought with empty hands or ordinary mouth yeah. The Bible made it clear that the prayer of the righteous avoided much. Hmm. Here is a crucifix of Christ and a special anointing oil. It is carrying the Holy Ghost burning fire. No demon dares cross over wherever they are found. Thank you very much. I'm very grateful. You are welcome. But how do I use them? Hang the crucifix at the entrance of your shop and then sprinkle the anointing oil, both inside and outside. Okay. Then watch the Lord fight your battle for you. Thank you. Thank you. You are welcome. welcome. By Eunice, remember one thing. Please, please don't forget to come and testify what the Lord has done for you. <laughs> and give thanks to King of Kings. Don't forget. Okay. Don't forget. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Hmm. Now that I have done what she asked me to do, let me wait and see what the God of Fida will do. Hmm. Thanks be to the God of Fida. He helped brought back all my customers. And I'm very happy. But my husband said he's bringing me a stronger charm from Kumasi. So I'll need those no more. Since she wants us to try charm for charm, we will see who charm is stronger. Because my husband promised the charm he's bringing from Kumasi is the strongest of all. Tell him I am not interested. What is this? Imagine this open insult. What? Seriously, if you ask me, I think you are being too harsh on Jerry. Being harsh on him, you said? Yes. Jerry is a nice guy. A kind of guy every girl on campus would want. But look at you. Look at how you're treating him. Okay. If every girl on this campus wants Jerry, they should go for him. But as I said before, I don't need him and I will never ever need him. Thank you. Listen, I still think you should try giving him a chance. Who knows? He could turn out to be Mr. Wright. What kind of insult is that? How can Jerry be my Mr. Wright? What is so right about him? Look, I had a very stressful day. The sun is so scorching, so I would like to go back to my hostel to take a rest. I'm sorry if that hurts, but I was only airing my views. And if it does not go well with you, I'm sorry, yeah? Well, you can take your opinion to somewhere else. I'm not interested. Girls, could you believe Ken was actually slapping upon that day? Are you serious? Seriously? Of course. He did. What? He nearly killed him. I heard he was actually taken to the hospital. And he couldn't come to class the next day. What day was that? Where was I? He didn't come to class, as usual. Sleeping? Oh my god. And what did the guy do? He was just standing. Nothing. Standing and watching him slap him. Of course. Like what was he supposed to do? <laughs> Oh my god! Are you serious? It was so funny. I can't wait to get into this competition proper. I'm sure there were the stuff I'm made of. Same here, the anxiety is just becoming unbearable. Someone tell me. Uh, Am I not beautiful enough to win this? Uh, <laughs> and me? Someone check me out. And tell if I am not doing well. Yeah, You're just doing you it, girl. Go me. <laughs> okay, okay. Now I'm the judge. Let me give the results. Mm -hmm. The second runner up in Washington DC's most beautiful girl on campus is Miss Rishan. <laughs> and the winner is Princess Kufo. <laughs> So, who do you think is going to become the next HOD after the retirement of Professor Titi? 
who else if not Professor Geoffrey? And that means doom for some of us. For us? Yeah. Who are us? Oh, stop playing dump, dump girl. Don't you know that Professor has been all over me? He's impressing me everywhere I go. All oh, that. But if he becomes the new HOD, he can't possibly continue to molest anyone anymore. <laughs> you know that. Says who? I mean, that is when he will feel he has the audacity to do whatever he pleases. Oh my God, I just pray he never becomes that HOD. I don't know about what you're saying. All I know is that Professor Geoffrey is the best among all the other lecturers contesting for that particular position. And everyone on campus likes him. In fact, he's the student's man. I pray God does not answer that particular prayer of yours because we want a man as great as Professor Geoffrey to be our new HOD. Trust me. Oh my God, what a dumb friend I have. Now I know why you're acting this way because you do not feel what I feel. Now tell me, why does every lecture on campus come after you? Why not stop asking me such a dumb question? Does it look like I'm the one that has been chasing them? I don't know. I don't know about this. Just go back to sleep. Oh my goodness, maybe you're wrong. Yes, come in! What's up, girls? Oh my god. How are you doing? Why is she acting this way? Why does she dislike me so much? Look, she, she hates every side of me. I don't know about this case with her. I have talked to her as a friend should talk to a friend about this your case. But she would just not listen to me. She would not listen. Leela, she's the only girl I love in this campus. I do think of air from when I woke up from sleep in the morning and when I go back to sleep at night. Have this. Please help me give this to her and continue talking to her for me. I'll try my best, Jerry. But you know that solely does not depend on me. You, 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 sh you, should, you should keep trying. Your persistence maybe will make her give in on the long round. I'm so grateful. Thank you very much. Um, let me go. I'll see you in school tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Goodbye, Jerry. Oh Christ. Hi. Why does Quinn treat a sweet boy like this for Christ's sake? I sometimes do not understand. Oh no. Number one is uh, inner equity. Yeah, I have it. Inner equity. Yeah. Okay. Number two? Number two is uh, outer equity. Outer. That's what I've just yet to work with. Seriously, like this guy, won't he stop calling? Does he want to give me low battery? God, what kind of problem is this? And who is that? Who else? If not that stupid idiot, who won't stop? Lusting after me everywhere I go. And who is lusting after you? Jerry? Of course. It's not a rather rash conclusion. You haven't even given this boy five seconds chance to see what he has to say to you. You have not even spent time with him. So you don't even know him. So why then would you say he's lusting after you? Ah, oh, Queen. Okay. Oh, no. So, must I spend time with him before I know what he's after? Seriously, I don't need him around me anywhere. So, please, he should just go to hell. Can we go back to our assignment now? Thank you. Okay. 
Oh my God, this guy is a fool. I mean, doesn't he know that if he calls a girl for three or four times and she doesn't answer me, she doesn't want to talk to him? And that he should remain that stupid idiot that he is and stop calling. Why are you blaming him? Good for Christ's sake, why are you blaming him? <laughs> this man is in love. Oh, he is in love, man. <laughs> oh my God. I am the king of this school, the top rated player of all time. Whatever I wish and desire, I get. No girl has ever turned me down like this girl is doing. Sometimes, I wonder why I tolerate her this much. Maybe because I have fallen so deep for her. God, what option do I use to track her down? I have spent so much money and time in trying to impress her, but nothing seems to work. What should I do? King Jerry, how far? What is eating you up? Don't tell me it's this queen. Cool. 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 Alpha. Don't tell me it's this queen matter that is still worrying you. <laughs> what else could it be? That girl is dealing with me seriously. Look, she won't even let me say anything to her. As soon as she sees me, she will just haste and away. What's about her? Is she finer and better than other girls on campus? Why are you allowing this girl to take the better part of you? Look, I've never seen a girl like her before. This girl is my ideal kind of girl. But she has shown you in different and several ways. She doesn't want you. So why won't you let her be and stop putting yourself into this mess? You guys, it's obvious you don't understand or feel the way I feel. Hey guys, just stay out of this. Okay, Charlie, cool. Alpha, what's in the happening? Oh boy, I didn't come back and drop down key. Now, wow. It's hard to believe a playboy. Like Jerry is going through this in the hand of that girl. <laughs> is that not a reversion? Exactly what he did to other girls, that is what this girl is doing to him. My own is that. Okay, moving on. Oh, listen, I haven't heard from you in days. I've been trying to call your phone and it doesn't go through. Mm, yeah, I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm, I'm fine. Are you I sure you're okay? Yes. <laughs> Wait I, a minute. Mm, oh, mm, Chante, what happened to your face? I, I, I am okay. <laughs> Don't tell me Kinsley beat you up again. He, he, he smashed me into coma. Will Kinsley ever grow up? This is domestic violence against a woman. Just look at this. I'm tired. I'm tired. I need to walk out of this marriage. I'm tired. He has sent me to a college bar and made my life so miserable. Sorry, it's okay. It's okay. I understand how you feel. 
wrong. It's so sad. Kesley <laughs> needs to grow up. It's horrible. Come, let me get you something to drink. Okay. Hi, girls. Auntie Shanta, you're welcome. Thank you. Oh, my God. Why are you staying in here? I've told you over and over. You can't see Mr. Kojo. So, leave. But why? Why can't you take pity on me? I'm just a poor widow, looking for assistance. Please, I need to see your boss. I heard he helps people in my condition. Please. Did you see the sign outside? I'm quite sure before you walk in here, you saw a sign posted outside. And there's nothing that says we run a charity organization here. So, get out. Get out! No, 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 get, get. Madam, just leave now. This is office hours. They are distracting us from our work. Go! Get out! Go! Ah. Seeking assistance, my fault. Are you a savior? What noise am I hearing out there? What? Come to my office right now. Come on, come on here right now. Yes, sir. What's going on out there? What's happening there? A woman came here insisting she wants to see you. For what? Who is she? She said she's a widow and she's suffering very much. She said she had your assist people in a condition. And uh, why didn't you people allow her to come in to see me? You left an instruction that you were very busy and you didn't want to be disturbed. So? Mr. James sent her away. James did what? Who asked him to do that? She was almost constituting nuisance and distracting us from our work, sir. May God have mercy on your people. I don't blame you. You people have a place where you can work and make your, 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 your living a deliberate. That's why you, you're treating somebody who's in need like that. I, I assure you, if you had found yourself in the same situation of that pathetic woman that you sent away like a leper, you would have been going around begging for arms the same way. Now, you better go out there and make sure you bring her back to this office. What? Bring her back? She may have gone by now, sir. And she's not going anywhere. She can't go. Go out there and search for her. Bring her back to the office. Why are some people so careless and wicked? Whenever things are going right for them, they don't care about anybody else. Have a seat. Have a seat. Thank you, sir. Uh, madam, I'm so sorry for the way they treated you. I'm sure it was just one big misunderstanding. Oh, sir. It's okay. The most important thing that I've seen you is now. Uh, it's, it's okay. Uh, uh, where are you from and what, what can I do for you? Please, I'm from Tema and I'm a widow. My husband died three years ago. Left me with six children. I don't have anywhere to stay, and I really need your help, please. Madam, uh, that's a very sad story. But uh, I thank God that you've now finally seen me. Your troubles are over. Yeah, um, I'm going to help you get back on your feet. I'm going to help you and uh, those people who wish you to die in poverty or die wretched, they're going to be ashamed. Thank you very much. That's okay. Okay. Um, this is check of uh, five thousand Ghana cities. Thank you. You can use it to. Uh, Get a place to stay and then get your child back in school. Thank you, 
Thursday. I'm going to give you my card, my uh, complimentary card. Thank you so much. This is my card. Whenever you're in need of anything, don't hesitate to call me. Thank you, uh, you can call my private number. Thank you, sir. It's not a problem. Uh, I wish you and your children all the best, okay? Thank you, sir. Go home and take care of your children. Come on to my office right now. Yeah, right now. Okay. Happy birthday. Thank you so much, sir. I'm so grateful. I wish you many good days to come, okay? Thanks, sir. Uh, I understand the issues that go with uh, birthday celebration, so you can go home early today and then spend some time with your family and friends. I can't thank you enough, sir. I'm so grateful. You're welcome. Thank you. I hope you enjoy your day. Bless this is my boss for me. I've never ever seen any boss like him before. If other bosses in other establishments were as generous as him, the work of a secretary would have been an interesting one. Hey, has a boyfriend sent you a special present? No, only boyfriend, I'll be lover. See. Oh, God bought me all these things for my birthday. And also, he has given me the immunity to celebrate with my family and friends. So I closed from work early today. I don't know even how to thank him enough. Hmm. Wow, that's so nice of him. He's such a nice and generous man. And you, what are you giving me for my birthday? Oh, you're not getting me anything. Ah, cool down. Enjoy what the boss has given you. You know what, we'll celebrate later. Happy birthday, Savior. Thank you. Money. <laughs> Monica. <laughs> So this entire area is going to be covered by the project. Oh, this entire area is going to be covered by the Yeah, this, uh, this entire area is going to be covered by the project. Right. Yep. What do you guys think about it? Sir, I have a... Look at this. The center of the Volta region where this integrated power plant is proposed to be situated. Mm -hmm. I would like to know, what's the security plan? I'm asking against the fear of vandalization. <laughs> That's a very wise question, Jim. That's a very wise question. Uh, security is uh, very important for the safety of this power plant project. It's very important. You see this area here? You see this entire area? Yes, sir. Moving all the way up here. Okay. This entire area is going to be intensified by fully armed military and police officers. So security is not going to be a problem. That's true, James. The president in his last press conference said the same thing. Security is not going to be a problem at all. <laughs> okay. And uh, another good news. Um, by next week, the money for the project to commence is going to be made available. <laughs> but uh, guys, uh, please, I want us to handle this project as if it is life itself to us. Because uh, if we are to get subsequent contracts from this government, it's going to depend on how well we handle and execute yes. this project. That's true. And on time, too. Okay. So we have to make sure that we do everything properly. We are all the way with you, sir. <laughs> sir, we are ready and willing to deliver as we suppose. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. That's what I want to hear you guys say. That's the spirit. Um, I know we can. Okay? Excuse me, my wife is calling me. Hello, honey. 
Are you okay? You sound very low. What's happening to you? No, it's just that I'm feeling a little bit feverish. I think I'm getting malaria. Oh, that's serious. Uh-huh. You know what? I took my car to the mechanic because um, the car has some battery problem. So can you kindly come and pick me up and take me home? Okay. I'll just wait for me. I'll come right away to pick you up. Okay. Love you. Okay, sweetheart. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, gentlemen, I, I think we'll continue this meeting tomorrow, okay? My wife is not too well and I have to go and pick her up quickly. That's so, what I uh, said. Yeah, sir. So tomorrow we'll, we'll continue the meeting. Okay? So sorry. Okay, sir. Tomorrow. Okay. 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 Green, okay? And you guys are making things worse. Would you keep it quiet? Auntie, I only asked her to mop. I've been mopping for three days now. She refused. So does this warrant you to shout? This is a shop in a public place, for goodness sake. Now, would you guys go and settle your mess without noise, please? What is it, Nana? What are you doing here so close to my house? Do you want my father to come and see you? Didn't I make it clear the last time that whatever it is we have between us is over? I cannot continue to date a guy who does nothing other than to sleep with me. You're just here in the village, loafing around joblessly, while your mates are in the city, working hard to earn a living. I remember saying to you that when you have made money, like every responsible guy should, and you can take care of me, then we can continue. Now that you're doing it, that you've lived up to your responsibilities. Rose, please. Look, I came to beg you so you give me a second chance, and I promise I'll make it up to you this time. Life without you has been so bitter. You have no idea how much I love you, and I want to be with you. I miss you greatly. I miss you greatly. Me too. You've only missed our sexual moments and nothing else. I tell you, Anna, that is exactly the nonsense I don't want to get back into. If it's a mistake, I made it and I'm never going back to it again. Then I get this into your coconut head. That a relationship is not all about sex. You have to be responsible and take care of your girl. I'm very sure that that word doesn't exist in your dictionary. And once you learn how to do that, there is no such thing as us. Okay. I promise I'm going to start hustling so I can take care of you. Reds. Merit. I want action. Not just merits. I can only be convinced if you can raise a thousand ganasis for my birthday coming up next week. Only then I can be convinced. Otherwise, nothing. <sighs> okay. I'll read you. I'll run around and see if I can raise the money. Good. Until then. Bye. Enjoy your day. Rose. A thousand Ghana cities. How am I going to get that kind of money from? Let's go. Um, I can't thank you much, my oldest for finding me worthy of becoming the new community chief. There are other great and illustrious sons of this land who would do well as community chief if selected. But you chose me. And I must say that I'm very grateful. Uh, our son, a body with that head is focusless. And that's almost becoming our story in this village. Since we lost our former chief two years ago, and our uttermost priority now is to choose somebody credible to replace him. And among those selected, you appear more credible, accessible, reachable, available for the position. We are very happy. 
Very, very happy that you stay here with us. You know our customs and traditions. But let me remind you that the position of a community chief is not an easy one. It comes with so many benefits, as well as enormous tasks and challenges. Hmm? Uh, <clears throat> the good thing is that the horn can never be too heavy for the head that bears it. The gods that gave us the wisdom, we believe, will also give you the ability to lead this community to its desired destination. I recall your father, Elder Atakra. He was a great man of wisdom and character in this community. And like the elders say, an offspring of the lion can never chew grass. So knowing the lineage from which you are coming, we believe you can do an excellent job. Well, once again, um, I'd like to thank you so very much for the opportunity given me to lead my people. Um, I promise with your support and cooperation, I will not let you down nor disappoint you. It is said that to whom much is given, much is expected. Um, the Council of Elders comprises of four of you, but I can't find Sir Kwame. Is he not around? Kwame is on suspicion. He found himself in an act we consider unethical of a man who belonged to this council of elders. And elders that are supposed to be wise men in the community mustn't find himself in the situation that can tarnish the image of the, 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 this council and the entire community at large. It's important to hear here that uh, though Kwame is a member of the council of elders, you must be very careful of him. Huh? Anyway, he will soon be back in our fold because his suspension will soon be over. Hmm. Um, so, may I ask if it will be appropriate that we visit him and then let him know of the current development? Whatever we have done is for the betterment of our families and the entire community. I totally disagree with you, Kweku. Some of you have brought, you know, personal interests, witch hunting, and character assassination into the Elders Council, thereby laying it to become a, a, a personal fight. I don't know what your point is. You know, as we do, that your suspension from Elders Council is that you committed an unspeakable offense and I don't think you expect the elders to fold their arms as if nothing happened. You see, that can make us lose the confidence and the trust of the entire community. We did the right thing at the right time, Kwame. Oh, so that is the reason why you people have been hosting meetings without informing or giving me feedbacks about those meetings. <laughs> I see. If you people know exactly what you are doing to yourselves, or you are turning yourselves into, well, um, why have you come here? You shouldn't come somewhere close to me or my house because you know you and I are not friends. Sir Kwame, <clears throat> please, he came on my request that he accompanies me to see you. That is why I allow you people inside because I saw you and him. Kwame, I don't, I don't, I don't know your problem. You are taking this thing personal. You start everybody. You do, I, I don't easy, understand. Take it easy. Why? Yes. Please, Sir Kwame, please let's shift our thoughts for the interests of peace in our community. Making this land safe and conducive for the betterment of our people should be the top priority of every member of this community. Please. 
This doesn't explain why you are here. I want to know the reason why you are here. The elders have chosen me as the new community chief. The elders have done what? The elders have done what? You and your useless elders have done what? Oh, I see. You and your useless elders. Oh, a synthesis matter like this. You people went ahead and discussed and selected somebody without informing me. That's what we have. Shut done. up! Community chief, my foot. My foot! Oh, I mean, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Please, enough is enough. Don't just talk to us anyhow. What we are trying to do is just to pick a, 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 a credible person like, like, like Lucky. To be our, our, our community chief. To replace the, our former chief. That will last for over, over two years now. Oh. That's what we are trying to do. Credible. Yes. Did you say credible person? I've heard the two of you get your useless bodies out of my house. Out. Out of my house. Get out. Get out. Kwame! Kwame! No sense. Selecting that boy as the community chief? Ah, impossible! Not once I am alive. I want to be the community chief! And nobody can do anything about it. Even the three edges can never stop me. They can't! No sense. In this land which we live, the evil ones are everywhere. Looking forward to destroy our lands have been corrupted. There's no longer go on. So much sadness in our land for the sake of the rebel There's So much we give us an evil. In this land which we live, the evil ones are everywhere. Looking forward to destroy. Our lands have been corrupted Things no longer go well But so much sadness in our land For the sake of the revolution Ahu, ahu, whom the vultures Vultures of horror Ahu, whom the vultures So